Did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? How you doing? If you like to see how I got these 16 beautiful braids, then keep on watching. I seriously wholeheartedly don't feel like doing my hair at all. I, I don't feel like it. Okay, now that I had my overly priced bean juice and I got my overly priced breakfast, let's talk. Why did she give me a spoon? That's weird. So it's a beautiful day outside. I'm gonna be spinning it inside doing my hair. And I decided to film this video vlog style, so it's not going to be like a direct step-by-step -step tutorial. But I will include some chapters so you guys can like skip through. I'll like, you know, sprinkle in some knowledge or whatnot. But this is going to be some raw footage. It's like 10.30 right now. I'm going to firstly wash the braiding hair, wash my hair, and then deep condition. And then I'm going to do a blowout because I think I need a trim. My hair has been like really healthy since the last trim I did. So I'm going to do another trim and then section my hair off. Then we're going to do some braids today. I don't know how big I want them to be yet. At first, I was going to do like jumbo, but I might end up doing them smaller. We'll see. I'm not going to lie. This might take me two days because I'm slow, but I will like insert times and stuff so you guys know how long this is actually taking me. I got blonde roast. I never had this before. I always get medium roast, but I got blonde and I got some Capri Suns. Y'all, I've been addicted to Capri Suns lately. They so good. I also got some new clothes. I cannot wait to show you guys my clothes. But this is going to be a vlog style video, so keep on watching. So if you remember this hairstyle right here, I still have braiding hair from that hairstyle. So this is the hair that I'll be using. I got two packs of this 613, which is like a platinum blonde. I got two packs of 33, which is a dark brown. And I got one pack of 30, which is a light brown. And here's the up close of the braiding hair. So you guys know the brand. It is pre-stretched, which I love. I love pre-stretched hair. So the first time that I did these, I only mixed like two colors together. But I think for this, I want to mix all of them together and see how that looks i don't know if i have enough for medium but i'm pretty sure i have enough for jumbo so again i have no idea what size i'm gonna do and this is the old twist out by the way but the tip that i wanted to give you guys is if you get your braids twist done and your scalp starts to itch you in the first week and you're wondering why is my scalp so itchy i just moisturized it it is the braiding hair the braiding hair that you're using usually has like some type of chemical on it it's like packing chemical to keep it nice and contained in the packaging. So what you should do is take one part apple cider vinegar and two parts water, mix that in the container, put the braiding hair into the container. In about like 15 to 30 minutes, you will see that chemical, that like white little particle start to rise up in the water. And then you just rinse out with regular water and keep rinsing till the water is clear. Also, it doesn't really smell that strong with apple cider vinegar once you keep rinsing it. But if the smell still lingers and it bothers you, then use some conditioner and you can either air dry the braiding hair or you can use a blow dryer to have it go by faster but cleaning your braiding hair will alleviate that itchy scalp okay at least for like the first two weeks so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this braiding hair into a bucket and put some apple cider vinegar two parts water in it and then I'm wash my hair and i'm gonna be back if you guys want to see how i wash my hair i have the video linked up above i already filmed that so check that out and i'll be right back so you want to do a blowout on naturally curly hair there are three Three rules you need to follow. Rule number one, make sure that your scalp is clean. Rule number two, make sure your hair is not soaking wet. And rule number three, no oils. So my scalp is nice and clean. My hair is moisturized. All I used was the Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner. I only used like the littlest amount. And then I flat twisted my hair. You want to make sure that your hair is a little dry before you blow dry it. So you can stretch it by doing twists, braids, or flat twists like me. And you do not, I repeat, absolutely do not want to use any heavy oils, heavy creams, none of that. Don't use oils at all because oil and heat, they don't go together. They, they can't make out. If you use oils, you're essentially frying your hair off. So yeah, it's better to use a lightweight leave-in conditioner like a spray, but I don't have one. So the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture leave even conditioner is pretty light enough to use if you want to go a little lighter then you can mix your favorite thick leave-in conditioner with a little bit of water shake it up spray it on but yeah while my hair is air drying let me show you guys the two outfits that i bought a few days ago i really need to stop buying hoodies but this color and this softness this is a men's hoodie from forever 21 and these are men's like joggers sweatpants 
type material from Forever 21. I think they're like $20 each or something like that, but it's the comfiest, like I, I live in comfy sweatpants material. It's like, I look like a college student, right? Like I, I feel like a college student and this is just so comfortable. Forever 21 did that. I, I love this so much. If you're a female and you're still scared to shop in the men's department, just, just go to the men's section. They have the best graphic tees and they have the best hoodies. It's like you wearing a boyfriend hoodie, you know, you don't got a boyfriend. So I got this shirt from Old Navy. You you understand. If you watch the show, then you understand why I had to get this. This is going to be like a good sleep shirt. Again, I got this from the men's department. And I also got these shorts. These shorts are from H&M and they were on sale. So this is like my little sleep attire. I need more pajamas, like real pajamas. But this is comfy too. Okay, so this is the last outfit. Y'all have to let me know what you think. So I got these jeans from H&M. I like them. They're kind of big. If you guys don't know, I'm 5'2". So they hit like just the floor. Like I have to like maybe tuck them a little bit like how I did back in middle school. So I got these jeans and I got this sweater from Forever 21. It's pretty oversized, so I thought it would be cute. And I got a bunch of these tank tops from Forever 21 and they were like $3.99 each. So I got brown, white, and black. And I also got these rings from H&M. I don't know. I saw people like stacking a bunch of rings, so I thought it would be kind of cute, so I tried it. So let me know, do I look trendy and cute or do I just look like an old lady trying to be cool? I'm like 23, about to turn 24. I'm not that old, but I, I, I don't know. So what do we think? Do we think cute? Should this be open instead? No, I, I don't like her open. All right, this is me trying to be fashionable. So let me know what you guys think. So, but let's continue with the hair. It's pretty dry right now. So I'm about to take this down. So my hair is like 85, 90% dry. So I'm gonna be using this heat protectant that I used in the last load I did like six months ago. I'm using the exact same method, exact same product. I had that video linked. It's the Icy Fantasia heat protectant and it smells, this smells so good. Like why does heat protectant smell like candy? Somebody explain that to me. But I'm just gonna speed through this. <laughs> I did say I'm gonna trim my hair, but I'm not gonna trim what doesn't need to be trimmed. This look healthy. Bro, it's thick all the way down to the ends. I did that, okay? My hair routine, I thought, look, I thought I was slacking, I wear my bonnet and like not twisting my hair up like I should, you know, but I ain't slacking that much, period. Okay, let me keep going. <laughs> And my hair is just so healthy. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you've seen the straight hair and it's just, it's so healthy. And I'm still torn between, do I really wanna straighten it just to see the length and just leave it alone. But I paused the video just to say one thing. <laughs> Please don't use a shampoo brush to do your blowout. Don't, that's the one thing I'll say to not follow me with because I don't have a regular schmegular brush. So if you have a brush that's good for blowouts, use that. Don't use a shampoo brush. If you do use a shampoo brush or any other shower brush, most likely it's made out of plastic and most likely the plastic will kind of burn your fingers a little bit. So be careful. That's my disclaimer. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this side off camera. When I tell you guys that I am sweating, it is so hot. Let me put you back up on the tripod. It is so hot in here. Oh my gosh. But this is how my hair is looking. It's so big. I'm loving how full it is, but it can use a little, you know, a little, a little snip snip. Not too much though, a little snip snip. Before I do that, I'm gonna put my hair in these giant braids real quick, just to keep it as stretched as possible. So my braiding hair is pretty dry. So I wanna mix these two colors together to see how it looks. And then I'm gonna, since I only have one light brown one, I'm gonna split it in half and like add half of it to this one, half it to the other one. And like, just fingers crossed that this looks cute.
So right now, this is giving Creole DeVille. It's giving cow print. It's giving hair turning gray. Um, hopefully the light brown helps. I don't got that much hair, man. I did not want to go no beauty plus. So I'm going to keep mixing it together and not getting the ends to be naughty. I'm trying to keep the ends as straight as possible. I'm not worried yet, but I don't know. So I'll check back in after I eat some food. Okay, here's my update. This is how much hair I cut off. Just this is barely anything like this is kind of less than my shedding this is how much hair that i cut off my hair looks really full the ends look a little bit better i just did a little bit of shaping but not too much show you guys the back i have no idea how the back looks so you're not telling me what looks bad but this is the back i'm getting my tippy toes hopefully it looks good so i'm gonna make my parts, I'm thinking about making like 12 parts. I think I still wanna do jumbo because I only have five packs of hair, but we'll see. So that's just my little update. So we're gonna finish this up tomorrow, but I wanted to show you guys my parts. They're pretty jumbo so far. I have 18 parts and depending on how much braiding hair I have left, I can combine some parts to make them even bigger. So it took me like four and a half hours to wash, deep condition, and blow out my hair. And it took about, about an hour to do these parts. So five hours in total, and I'm going to sleep because it's getting late, so yeah. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. It has been three and a half, four hours, and this is what I'm looking like. I only have two sections left, so it's gonna be the tutorial time. But this is how my braids look so far. I think they look pretty cute. This is how much braiding hair I have left. It's giving me white chocolate swirl. Like at first I was iffy about the color, but it's giving me white chocolate swirl. The light brown and also the darkness of my hair mixed in with this looks mwah, it looks good to me. So I only have this much hair left. I did combine a few sections for fear that I was running out of hair. And I did the crochet method to install these braids. I'm also not using any new hair products. So this is the Carol's Dotto Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter. And I take like a decent amount of this. Smooth it onto my hair. I really don't care that my hair is curling up. I just want to make sure that it's moisturized under these braids. Brush it through, make sure that my hair is detangled. Now I'll be using the Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold on my roots. I love how when this sits out for a long time, it starts to get a little bit more liquidy and easier to use. Dab these on my roots, taming the flyaways mostly. Make sure that my little baby hairs is out and not caught up. And I like to brush that through as well. I'm going to split my hair into three parts and start to braid it. You can braid all the way down if you want to, but I'm not going to. Just only a few passes. I only braid about this far down. Also braid as tight as you're comfortable. I'm gonna grab my braiding hair and I'm gonna take a smaller piece of this. So I'm gonna take my crochet hook, make sure the latch is closed. I'm gonna start by going vertically under the braid. The latch is open, so I'm taking my smaller piece of braiding hair. Get on, close the latch, pull it through. Take the crochet needle again, make sure the latch is closed. And now I'm gonna go in between the braid going horizontally. And taking the bigger piece of braiding here, I'm gonna hook it onto the latch, pull it through. I wanna make sure that this is nice and smooth. So now I have my three pieces, piece one, piece two, piece three. I'm making sure that the middle piece is covering the braid, not all the way, but most of the way. And I'm gonna start with the piece in my right hand, Go over in front of the braid. Take the piece of my left hand, go over and start braiding all the way down. Also, my grip is pretty tight until I run out of like my natural hair and then I start to loosen up a little bit. And when I get to the very ends, I take a little bit more of that edge wax, put it on my ends and kind of smush it to the braiding hair so that it blends well. And when I get to the very end, I go ahead and add my perm rods now because I'm going to boil them, wrap it like that and close it and I'm done. So for the last braid, add my cream, add the edge wax, start my braid, take out a smaller piece from the braiding hair, put the hook in vertically, make sure the hair is smooth, divide your three sections, make sure that the middle piece is covering your hair and start braiding. And last, add your perm rod. So I'm gonna dump these ends in some hot boiling water. And I already took some pieces of hair and wrapped it around some flexi rods for the curly pieces that are gonna go throughout. This is how much hair I have left and I'm so glad that I combined a few sections because I wasn't sure if I was gonna run out. And so far I 
like the crochet method. It was just hard because sometimes the hair get caught on the hook and that'll be a waste of hair. So be careful with that. I'm gonna go boil a pot of water and be right back. If you're doing this at home by yourself, number one, make sure you have a towel. Number two, please do not go all the way up to your hair because you will burn your actual natural hair. And make sure that you're careful because it's hot boiling water. But you use boiling water and I heard that a flat iron also works. So the heat like sets the synthetic hair and sets like the rods in place for the curls. Sets the rods in place for the curls. Sets the curls in place. You know what I mean. I am not in love with my hair. I don't hate it, but I also don't like it yet. So these curly pieces, they look good to me. It's just the ends. The ends, I do not like them. Like, as you can see, the perm rods gave it like this very uniform, perfect curl. And I did not like that. So I started to unbraid it, started to separate it, make it a little bit more messy, a little bit more boho. And I think I made it a little too messy. It looks kind of crazy, but these curls look really, really good. At first they were really tight as well. So I had to, I just wrapped them around this to stretch it a little bit. And then I unwrapped it and then I crocheted them in. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So you take your crochet hook, make sure that the latch is closed, push it through the braid. And then you take your curly piece, put it onto the hook, close it and pull it through. And I like to make sure that mines are like even. And then I tie it twice to make sure that it doesn't, you know, fall out to the street. And I make sure that I pull pretty tight and there, that's how you get that. And I'm gonna cut it right here so that the curly piece is not too long. I just think that it's so eye-catching and it also covers up the gaps. I made sure that the braids are like spaced out right so it's not too gappy, but I think it really does cover it up. So my plan is to take a nap and I'm gonna wake up, curl these ends again and finish putting in the curly pieces and get cute or whatever. But before I do that, I'm gonna turn around and show you guys the back. I don't know how much it's in focus, but this is how the back looks. Also to make sure that these don't unravel, what I did was I took the far right piece, wrapped into a knot, and then I took the far left piece, wrapped to, into a knot. So now it's double knotted and secure. And I'm so glad that I have this much hair left so I can make some more little curly pieces and make this into the boho chic look of my dreams. <laughs> So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back with the final look. Don't have the key, you a key, you know it. Ain't already, my baby, you know it. Pop everything, everything, you know it. Ain't already, already, you know it. Shine already, it's time already. 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 No secret that I love this hair. This looks so like boho chic, carefree, vacation y vibes. And I just feel like a fairy princess. Like, I feel like a fairy princess. I don't know why, but I do. So, I think this was success. The ends could look a little bit better, but I love the curly pieces throughout. These are goddess braids. I feel like a goddess. Goddess braids i just feel so pretty and i love like the blonde and it's the press on nails for me it's the rings for me like this just looks so from head to toe i love it and i did use five packs of braiding hair and in total i would say it's been about 10 hours from washing my hair to styling it to this it's been told 10 hours minus all those breaks that i took the only thing i did not like was when i was doing the crocheting method it just kept getting bunched up in the hook sometimes. And also, I'm glad I used the flexi rods and not the perm rods because this looks so much better with flexi rods. It gives it that body wave. And I feel like this crochet method made it look like knotless braids. Like it looks like kind of like knotless braids because it's not like a whole, you know, knot. So if your grip game ain't that good or you want to do knotless braids but don't know how, then I would suggest doing the crochet method because this was perfect. I didn't have to use any rubber bands because I was debating doing the rubber band method, but I do not want any rubber bands being stuck in my hair. So this was a good method to follow. Also, if you braid really tight, I think that the crochet method works as well. All in all, I think this is the end of this video. Let me know if you guys like this protective style vlog type of thing. So let me know if I should do this again with different hairstyles. It just looks so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. 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 I'm like a fairy. <laughs>
I'm pretty sure that's all I had to say. If you have any questions, let me know. But give this video a thumbs up, a like, comment down below, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.